Hey guys, what's up? Today I am so excited to show you my finished condo tour. It took a lot longer to complete than I expected, but I could not be happier. And I had a very distinct vision of what I wanted my home to look like. Lots of neutral colors and a very inviting, cozy space. So I worked with an interior decorator named Stephen from Smith Firestone Associates to help me pull my vision together. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are outside of the front door of my condo and I am going to show you guys how I've decorated, what I've done. So when you open the front door, this is what you see. And I'm going to give you guys a full overview of the whole space so that when I'm going through each room, you kind of have your bearings of where I am. So I have the office, obviously this is the entryway and the second bathroom. Then you come in here and you have my kitchen and then there is the dining room and the living room. Then over here is my bedroom and my teddy bear. How you doing? How's he going? Yeah, you're just chilling like a villain? Okay. And then we have my bathroom and my closet. So now when I go back and kind of show you guys all around, you know where we are. So I wanted to wallpaper this front entry because I felt like when you walked in, it was just such a statement and I thought it was so pretty. So I believe this wallpaper is by Maya Romanoff. I will link it in the bottom bar below if anyone's interested. This fake deer head is from West Elm. And then I got this little chest at Layla Grace. And then I just have a catch-all bowl with like a travel umbrella and some things that I need when I'm walking out the front door and a candle. I also decided to put this full length mirror on the wall right here. I believe this one's from West Elm and I felt like it really just opened up the space when you walked in and it's a good place to kind of check your outfit and your makeup when you're walking out the door. And then the last thing in the entryway that I have is this little key hook that I got from World Market. Then we have the guest bathroom. So the bath is over here. I installed this half glass shower door and I will be honest, it doesn't really work very well. I never shower in here. Um, and the only people that really do is when my mom and dad visit, but my mom's in town right now and she said the water gets everywhere, even though on the website it said it wouldn't. Uh, so if I had to do it over again, I'd probably do a full one. I just thought the half one, like, I don't know. I thought it looked really cool. And then I have this Mademoiselle picture or painting from Z Gallery. My decorator Steven and I chose this wine color for the walls because he said it would tell a story when you see from here and then you go back to my bedroom and it all kind of ties together. And I think it is so freaking pretty. Over here I have the framed African tribal wedding necklace that I got from Z Gallery and this has just moved homes with me. This just always finds a spot and it's always a statement piece and I always get comments on it. I filmed this vanity online and it was pretty inexpensive for what it is and the first one they shipped to me was actually broken and they shipped me another one and were super sweet about it and stuff so I definitely like the company I got it from and it has this gorgeous marble countertop and like I said for what it is it really wasn't that expensive. Please don't make fun of my socks by the way because I think they sexy. They're kind of like slipper socks. Anyways, back to the point of this video. If you guys remember the before, you will know that this is a huge difference. And then I put this mirror from Pottery Barn up above it and I have this fake orchid right here that looks like really real. I'm really impressed with it. And then I have this cute little tissue box cover that I'm obsessed with that my mama made me. I also just want to point out that I added crown molding to this bathroom and I think it is really pretty. And I made this door a bifold door because there was really no way to have a good door here because if it opened inside, it was just blocking off so much space. And then when it opened outside, you couldn't open the front door if this door was swung out. So we decided to go with a bifold door and it solved all of our problems and it was actually a really great idea. So then we are going to go over to my office. My favorite thing in here is the chandelier. I added crown molding, but other than that, it's pretty much the same as when you watch my office tour and my makeup collection video. So I will link both of those in the bottom bar below because they were each really long videos. And if I tried to go through everything in one, it would be a freaking long video. Um, so this is kind of my office. And if you want to see more of this, I'll, like I said, put those videos there. 
In this door, there is just the air conditioning, a coat closet that I have a bunch of junk in, so we're not gonna go in there, a wine rack, and then that is just my little laundry room. It just has a stacked washer dryer. Over here is my kitchen. The biggest difference in here is that I added backsplash. So this used to be just a plain painted wall, and I got this really awesome Imser tile, and it's so pretty and makes such a statement, and that's another thing that when people walk in, they always tell me that's so cool. And then I have a Keurig and an espresso coffee maker and my sign that says you can't buy happiness, but you can buy coffee. And that's pretty much the same thing. And if you can tell from my Nespresso and my Keurig, I live by that statement. So then over there, I just have my automatic wine opener, salt, pepper, olive oil, vinegar. There is my trash can, because I know you guys want to see it. And Teddy's little bone appetit dog bowl and placemat, because he's a sloppy eater. And then up here, I just have a clock that I got from World Market. Over here, I have these tulips. Again, these are fake, but they are so pretty and look so real. And I love white tulips. And then over here, I just have paper towels, soap, sink, obvious. I have this little uh, sign that says champagne for breakfast and Teddy's treat bowl. I also in here added pendants above the kitchen. So they're really simple or above the bar. They're super simple, but they really just make this its own area. And then I have my dish rags that I got at TJ Maxx and they have like sparkly thread through them and are really pretty. And my little mat that's cushioned so when you stand on it when you're doing dishes and stuff, your feet feel really good. And that is from Ballard Designs. Then we are gonna go over to the dining room. Favorite thing of this, I don't even know um, because it's kind of all of it, but I really love the chandelier. It is from Restoration Hardware. It was one of the biggest splurges in my new home, but it totally makes the space. The only thing is it's not on a dimmer, so I need to get that installed because right now it's just really bright. At nighttime, that's perfect, but if I ever have it on during the day, it's just like blinding kind of. I also forgot to show you guys, I got these three bar stools. These were pretty inexpensive. I think they were like $69 a piece, which for bar stools like this, and this is a padded cover that you can take off if you just want it to have a wood top, but I liked how the linen goes with the linen dining room chairs. So the rug is from Pottery Barn. The dining table and this bench are from Z Gallery, and then the two end chairs are from Restoration Hardware. The runner is from Z Gallery. Lights Restoration Hardware. These are more fake flowers from my decorator's friend who just does such an amazing job at that. And then I have these two dining chairs that go on that side of the table if I have guests over. If not, I like to keep it back there because I like to light the candles under my mantle. So this mantle is from Horchow and we were originally thinking about building it around one of those fireplaces that kind of sticks to the wall but making it look real because it would have a mantle. We were thinking about it and I kind of wanted to save on some expenses, so that was one thing that we nixed, but I am so happy we just painted the back wall right here, this kind of bronzy color, and got different hurricane votives and candles, and it looks so pretty. I love the look of this. It's very, I don't know, like Pinterest to me. So this then up here, I just have a collage of photos. This one's Horchow, Z Gallery, Z Gallery, TJ Maxx, that one says flawless, and that's from TJ Maxx that says eat well, travel often. And then that is the DIY string art that I showed you guys how to do in a video that I will link in the bottom bar below so you can really do any design you want. It's not perfect, but I like that I can say I made it. Little elephant teapot. Elle and I got these candles when we first moved to Los Angeles, like almost five years ago and they have just moved around with me and I love them. I'm not sure if I want to keep them up on the mantle because it's like candles and then candles again. Um, but for now they're up there and it kind of just, I don't know, it's one of those things I've had for a while. And then I have a stack of Chanel coffee table books with this little birdie thing up there. Then we get to the living room and I love this so much. 
This sofa is probably the most comfy thing in the entire world. You just sink into it. It is like a big old cloud and it is from Pottery Barn and all of the pillows on it except for these ones that look like chunky sweaters are from Pier 1. The chunky sweater ones are from Bed Bath & Beyond. That little throw is from um, Z Gallery. And then that throw is from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I did the curtains. So I have two different layers up there. If you can see, it's like a double rod. And I have the shears and then I have the actual panels. And I wish the camera could pick up how gorgeous these window treatments are because it might be, I feel like everything might be my favorite thing in the whole place, but seriously, these are really, really gorgeous. And then over here, I have this huge fake because I cannot keep anything real alive. So this is a really big fake. I believe it's a fiddle leaf fern, fiddle leaf tree. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's really pretty and it's fake. Um, the lamps, I believe, are Pottery Barn and the side tables are from West Elm. This rug, I'm going to have to find the website and link it below, but I am in love with it. It's just a gorgeous rug. It has some metallic shimmer little strands kind of running through it, and it's just really, really pretty. This coffee table is a trunk from Restoration Hardware, and this is something that I didn't want to spend the money on, and I told my decorator that I was going to skip this, that I thought we could find a less expensive coffee table and he was like Blair if there is one thing you listen to me on I swear this will make your space and I have to say it is so gorgeous and it pulls in the color of my kitchen cabinets and it's just so pretty then I found this um, media center at Ballard Designs and I just have my TV up there and then over here there is this fluffy chair. I don't even know what to call this thing, but it is just this gorgeous furry chair that I love so much. And I don't know if I showed you guys like the best part of my whole place. I wallpapered the freaking ceiling. Yes, I did. And I love it. So the raised part of the ceiling, which is over the dining and the living room, as you can see, is totally wallpapered. This was something that my decorator was like, I would love to wallpaper this up part of the ceiling. And once he got it in my mind, I was just like, yes, that is what we're doing. So we kind of focused my entire condo around this ceiling. So when you take it all in as one, I just think it is so pretty. We also wallpapered my columns right here. So you can see it is a textural, shiny wallpaper. It's kind of like a crackle finish. And then Teddy has a little, um, it's actually a trash bin, but it's never been used for that. I throw some of his toys in there. And then he has another little toy bin over here so he is just one spoiled little doggy then i have this buffet from hor chow and inside i have a lot of things that when i'm throwing parties and serving platters and stuff like that i have this map from restoration hardware above and then i just have some coffee table books some bar accessories i have this tray from west elm which matches the little trash can i kind of set this area up as my bar and then over here, I have a vase with some pretty fake peonies in it. And then this little guy, I'm not really sure what he is. I think he's a llama. I'm not 100% positive, but like I really like him. So now we are going to make our way over to the bedroom. I got this little lady head from whorechow.com and then we get into my bedroom. So the whole thing was centered around this wallpaper. So I'll get close where you guys can kind of see the texture and it has these bright pops of this gorgeous wine color. So that's kind of what we wanted to play off of and we got these drapes made and my favorite part about them is that they are black out. I also have these sheer white drapes underneath so when I open that uh, during the day it lets light in and it's just really pretty and soft and flowy but I also just like having these blackout ones closed. I think it gives it just a cool wall. 
And I originally thought that I was just going to do one wall behind the bed as this focal point wallpapered and then the rest would just be painted kind of an off-white color. But my decorator said he thought it would look really gorgeous if we did all of it and I am so happy I did. Since we left everything else really solid and neutral like the bedding and stuff like that, it gives a pop that I really, really love. Teddy, what are you doing? Are you just living your life and laying there? So the bed is from Z Gallery and then the two pendants hanging down as the night light or nightstand uh, lamps. I'm gonna dim so you guys can kind of see. Okay, so maybe you can see it's like three tiers of crystal. There we go. And I found these actually online at Restoration Hardware Baby and Child. And they're just the perfect size for these little side lamps and I love them so much. I also added crown molding up here as well. Um, and then the bed is Z Gallery. Side tables are Restoration Hardware. The fluffy rug is from Z Gallery. The bedding is from Bed Bath & Beyond, um, including this little throw blanket that Teddy loves to lay on. And then I have my dresser, which is from the Z Gallery outlet. I have a little dress form from PB Teen and my purse that I've been using. And then I just have some books over here. I have my TV and Apple TV and DVD player. I have some dried roses in this little glitter mason jar some Ikea candlesticks, and then I have a dress rack, which we thought just added a little pop of color and some personality. These are lots of dresses that I've worn on red carpets and to events, Teen Choice Awards, American Music Awards, that sort of thing. And it just kind of, each dress has a little bit of a memory to me, and it was just something personal that we could put in here. Then I have Teddy's little pet stairs over here. I pretty much keep them up all the time just because he cannot get on and off the bed himself. So he'll whine in the middle of the night if he wants to go get like a sip of water and stuff. And it was kind of affecting my sleep. So this has been a lifesaver, just letting him be independent. Over here on each side table, I have these faux floral arrangements. And then I have a humidifier back there and two picture frames. Both of those are from Z Gallery. And then over there, right when you walk in, you can see I have that peekaboo table that is from CB2 and it's really great because it kind of gives a catch-all and it's its own little area. I have a mirror over top. Sometimes I use that as a vanity or I can bring my chair in there and set my laptop up there if I want to. And then it also is really good because since it's an illusion table, it kind of almost disappears and it just gives a pretty entryway to my bedroom. Over on this side, I have some old books that I've been collecting, a little thing that I put my ring in every night before I go to sleep. I have a candle, another floral arrangement, a picture frame, and teddy bear. Yes, I have you again. Really? And then we get to my bathroom. So, so I have my double sinks and I have my Sonos player, um, some tissue, hand towel, washcloth, candle. I have my Clairsonic. In there I have little cotton balls. There's Q-tips, soap, toothpaste, toothbrush, everything else. All the other products are in this side cabinet or down below. Let me know if you want me to do a video kind of showing you how I organize that because that would be a really long time to try to fit it in this video. Um, but I don't like my countertop to have a whole lot of products, just like obviously toothbrush and toothpaste because I you know, brush my teeth a lot. Um, and then I have these white fluffy rugs that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And over here I have this mirrored Pier 1 lingerie chest that I used to have in my bedroom. And this door closes if you want to like close off the toilet area. I am not going to use the bathroom if someone else is in here. Like, I'll just go to the other bathroom or no one's going to be in here. So it doesn't really matter because the bathroom door is closed or I'm alone since I live alone. Um, so that might be nice if you're like married or something, but I still, I don't know. Um, I just keep it open because otherwise then I couldn't have this here. And then I just have some candles and a little artwork on top. And then above the toilet, I have this fun little doodad trinket thingy my bobber from Z Gallery. You can tell I've been filming a while when I just start talking out of my butthole. Um, I have my dirty clothes hamper, towel. I have some more towels there. I have the Starburst, uh, it's not really a mirror, like a Starburst thing from Z Gallery. 
down here I have one of my favorite little things I love bath caddies it's really weird um, but I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond it was a lot less expensive than some of the other ones I had seen and it has a little book stand it has areas to put like bubble bath or bath salts and that is a wine glass holder yes very excited about that and then the last little area is my closet. So I have these sheer drapes just on a pressure rod from, again, Bed Bath & Beyond. I live really close to a Bed Bath & Beyond, so I feel like I just go there all the time. And here is my closet. So this is really going to bother me that that's not pushed all the way in. Okay. So I've got my shoes, jewelry, perfume, bags, clothes, all that jazz and I have done a tour on my closet where I go through every single section of this so I'll link that below with the office tour because again that was its own really long video and then there is my shower and that is my entire home so Teddy and I really hope you enjoyed this condo tour don't you he actually doesn't really seem to care much do you care do you care about anything but yourself? Say, no, I'm a dog. You seem very annoyed with me. He's always annoyed with me. All right, guys, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video, a peek inside of my home. It wasn't really a peek. I mean, you guys got like a real look inside my home and I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it and I will see you guys with my next video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links in the bottom bar below so you can see all the other videos where I get even more into the stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye. So when you, oh my God, I locked myself out. Oh my gosh. How did I, oh my gosh. Gotta go call security and have them let me in. It's Blair. I just locked myself out of my condo. Can you send someone up to let me in? Thank you, bye. How is this for suspenseful? Can't even get into my own home. Thank goodness security downstairs has a spare key to let me in because I do this way too much.